In Hyde Park, 4,500 members of the St. John's Ambulance Brigade parade before the Lord Mayor, Sir Leslie Boyce. Men, women and youngsters, they belong to number one Prince of Wales district and come from the City of London. Lady Dunbar Naismith, wife of the submarine BC of the 1914-18 war, inspects the nursing cadets. There are about 116,000 St. John's members in Britain. They give their services free to look after us when we're enjoying ourselves and they pay for their own uniforms. Inspecting the boy cadets is the Commissioner-in-Chief, Lieutenant General Sir Otto Lund. Almost anywhere you'll find St John's watching and waiting quietly, ready to render first aid. The brigade is fully equipped for every emergency. To York Minster go other members of the brigade for the first service to be held in the north since the order was founded 800 years ago. It's difficult to assess the fine service these people render to us because of their silent efficiency. But it's an inspiring thought in this material age that so many should give so much to help their fellow men. All too rare ceremonies like these remind us and enable us to pay a belated tribute. A feature of the celebrations at York is the presentation by the Earl of Scarborough of a cheque and a silver salver to Mr Thornton of Springvale who retired recently as West Riding Commissioner after 49 years' service with the brigade which lives to serve.